Good morning, everyone. I just thought to share with you guys my everyday what I do from when I wake up. I wake up a lot of times um, ever since we go to bed at night. <laughs> um, a lot of times I wake up, feed him, and then, yeah. He wants to play at 6 30 in the morning. He wants to be hold and he wants to walk around the house in the morning. So his dad does it and I try to catch him sleep in the morning. So we we do wake up quite a lot of times in the morning. So now it's 11 a.m. We did get a lot of sleep and I did catch up on news and stuff like that. And now he's all up. We are going to go fresh ourselves and get ready for the day hello mama Downstairs now. Hey. 
now I'm going to make his milk as quick as possible. I need to tidy um, the whole kitchen. Banana kabo, yummy abo. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. It is a very beautiful day today. That's why he's looking outside because it's getting sunny. Nani ke kaldi nani ke? Nani ke kaldi nani? Baba, 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 Kenya, gay. Amra bahire good to jabu ma. Oh ma. Oh ma, tu na ki boila. Oh ma. Ma, zi amra bahire jabu. It's a beautiful weather, abu. Amra bahire jabu. We're gonna get some sun. Hmm. Abu. <laughs> he loves. He loves the sun. He's think. feeling a little sleepy right now. Um. So. I'm gonna try to feed him as soon as possible. Sorry, you can't see my head, but I just don't know how to position this camera because I don't have the tripod at the minute. My tripod is broken and the rest of the tripods are for my lights, for my bigger camera. And it's gonna be difficult for me to carry around the house, isn't it? <coughs> Basically, I just thought to catch up on you guys while I'm feeding him. Um, how am I feeling? I wanted to share with you guys um, my postpartum. Um, don't want to call it depression yet. Um, I still need to see a doctor about it. I am feeling very low, very, um, I have a very low self esteem, confidence, and um, feeling low in general, I would say for now. Um, I really want to see someone um, and talk about it um, and I've been watching videos of other mothers who are also saying that they were diagnosed with you know uh, postpartum depression and the symptoms were pretty similar with my one so I, that's why I want to see someone about it and um, I just don't want to like in my head I don't want to agree with it that I might have it you know I I had a depression before and I do, you know, I did suffer sometimes, but I knew how to tackle that. But now um, things have changed so drastically in my life. So I just find it very difficult to fight my um, low feelings, um, my mood. So i really think i need help but because of what's going on in the world right now it is super scary GPs have been requested to see only the serious patient now i don't know how serious my situation can be for them maybe they will uh take into consideration because i am a new mother and postpartum depression is very dangerous can be very dangerous um so maybe they will see me. Even if it's over the phone consultation, I'm happy to, for that. And at the same time, I really don't want to go to GP. It looks scary. I am scared of getting the virus. I am very scared. Right now in the UK, it's like, like 379 so far when I read the news. Also, the 
health secretary or not the health secretary i think the health minister i don't know someone in the health field she has been tested positive uh, with the coronavirus it's getting very very serious right now like italy is completely locked down wait mama But yeah, also, we are not able to buy any rice. Oh my god, we've been to the grocery shops like many times. The supermarkets ran out of toilet paper. Every, you know, basic food aisles, empty, completely empty. So we've been struggling to find the rice that we always buy. Muke the rocks again. Hmm? Dush to tele. As I was saying that we have been struggling to find the rice. Uh, we do have rice in stock, as in like... um probably this week <laughs> all right guys as i was editing the video um i just noticed my hairline is so bad especially my temple looks so so empty yes it's pretty bald um obviously because of hormones because it's um it's a postpartum hair loss <laughs> um i've already started my hair regrowth journey using my very special hair oil as well as hair mask everything is homemade i am definitely going to share with you guys so just pray for my bald spot as well guys seriously <laughs> i need help i really think that people need to think about other people as well for example if a shop has like four items in it and the some someone who has a lot of money will come and buy all four and someone who can only barely afford just one item that person's left with nothing so everyone needs food everyone needs um toilet papers um so it we need to think about the other people who's going to also need those stuff so it is so stupid i've seen when i went to the supermarket i've seen people coming up with cardboard boxes and filling up honestly i regret a little bit that i did not do the shopping early enough at the same time i really didn't have choice i don't drive i wish i was driving this is my biggest regret of my life right now that i did not get my driving license otherwise i wouldn't have waited for my husband to do everything to be honest at the same time i really wanted to order online so that you know um i get it delivered in my house All right, change in plan. He suddenly looks very much awake. So he is going to play in his jumper right now. And I am going to tidy up my kitchen and my living room a little bit. It's it's pretty it's pretty organized and tidy. I just want to touch up a little bit more. So yeah. Let's play. It's going to be second attempt of me having breakfast. I still need to finish my half the banana, the the one that I fed my baby, and also my favorite biscuits with my tea. But now, as I warmed up my food, my baby started being irritated. Now that he's six months old, he loves being active. He loves to stand up and he he loves to jump. He loves to jump, Baba. Mm. By the way, please excuse my nails. They're in a very shitty con condition because the amount of time I wash my hand after birth and now as the coronavirus is going on. So I am not willing to keep my hands really nice looking so travel cot that's what i wanted <sighs> so i want something like these um because i'm pretty sure in future we will need some travel cot if we travel around the 
country or um, go to Bangladesh, I, w- I want to take something like this with me. Um, so I was like, why not buy it now? I kind of like this one. There are not many options to be honest, but this blue one looks pretty good. And it has 123 ratings, almost four and a half stars and it looks pretty good it has this opening that the baby can go inside like when he'll be able to you know walk and crawl by himself he can go in and out i don't know why people don't take proper pictures honestly people are so dumb there is a letter on my name Mm. my bank pin number because my husband my dear husband Locked my card. Key. Key, Emma. Hmm. Oh, master, Emma. You sleepy, sleepy little boy. Emma, sleepy. Okay, now my baby's asleep. I'm downstairs watching him in the cam. And uh, yeah, I'm going to mind my own business right now. Before he wakes up, he takes like 45 minutes of nap. So I'm going to be very quick in finishing all that I want. First of all, I want to hoover the house and then mop. So I have to be very quick. Guess what, guys? I did not finish my tea, so... <laughs> motherhood i'm going to throw this tea because i've warmed it like three times i don't want to drink it anymore i'll make a fresh batch for myself batch fresh cup of tea for myself so hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up do subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell button as well and please guys communicate communication is the key so so i shall see you in my next video and take care be safe coronavirus is spreading really quickly please maintain a hygiene routine and um, i wish you all the best so pray for me pray for my baby and my husband um i shall see you in my next video